The Frederick Walking Tour provides the flexibility and convenience to tour how and when you want to. By touching the tours bar, you'll see that the tour actually consists of seven mini tours, each with a specific theme and timeline. By opening the map portal, you can see all the stops on each of the tours, and equally important, you'll see your own location on the map through the use of GPS technology. Check your device settings to make certain your GPS function is turned on for the Frederick Walking Tour. Here you can double click any one of the tour icons, see the name of the tour stop, its proximity to you, and opt to go there. The Landmarks bar allows you the option of visiting tour stops that are closest to you without regard to the tour's chronological order. By touching the button in the upper right-hand corner, you'll refresh the GPS, updating your location to the tour stop that is closest to you. After finishing at that tour stop, touch the Home button and return to the Landmarks bar where you can select your next stop. The Visitor Center bar provides information about Frederick's all-new Visitor Center, where you'll find great exhibits and an award-winning orientation film about Frederick County. So let's say you're taking the tour in chronological order. We'll go to Tours and select Tour 1, The Trail. You'll see that the tour consists of just three stops along with a map that shows your present location. Touch Tour Stop 1, The Founding of Frederick. This will take you to another screen that provides the tour stop address, directions for getting there, in this case from the Frederick Visitor Center, the tour stop location on the map, and your own location. The tour will load as you walk to the stop. By the way, the directions for all tour stops are written for those who are taking the tour in chronological order. So if you're making random tour stops, disregard the directions. Touch the I'm here, begin the tour bar when it turns green, and the multimedia presentation will begin. The image reused for each tour stop presentation has either a landscape or portrait orientation. You'll learn the image orientation for each given tour stop based on the first image that you see. So if need be, just flip your phone. This will allow you to see the images at their largest size. When the presentation begins, touch the screen and you'll be given some more options. You can pause the presentation by touching this button or resume it by touching it again. You can restart the presentation from the beginning with this button. You can press this button to go home, and you also have the option of reading the audio content in the form of a transcript. To move on to the next stop, just touch the arrow in the upper right-hand corner. At the end of each tour stop presentation, you'll have the option of staying here or going to the next stop. When you choose to stay here, you can hear the tour stop content again. It also gives you the option of looking at the photos of that given stop by touching the arrows on either side. And of course, the home button always takes you back to the main interface. Just a couple of other things in closing. Make certain that your phone or tablet is fully charged. Turn your Wi-Fi preference off so that you're pulling a direct signal using your own data plan and won't be walking in and out of the multitude of wireless zones in downtown Frederick. And turn off other applications that you're not using. This will speed up the rate of the download. If you're touring with others, you may want to use the external speaker on your device. If so, make certain the volume is turned up as loud as possible. Always remember to remain stationary when viewing the audiovisual content at each stop. Frederick's sidewalks and streets can be very busy, so it's important to use caution. And that about covers it. Start your tour by watching the introduction, which can be viewed from any location. And have a great time touring Frederick, Maryland with iTour.